Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I have a little stupid project that I want to do here minutes before I actually have to go um, back to my regular every week living in the big city and that is let's go closer because this is hard to explain pointing backwards over here I have a big water heater it's nothing is being heated in there it's not electric it's a water heater that functions with the exchange there is hot water from the wood stove in the basement that heats some usable water in here it's an old system that i really should have removed long ago but i fixed some piping on it a couple of years ago and in that when i did that I removed a shutoff valve here and I found out why that was there. This is the water intake. The cold water is coming in here, but there is another water here in the basement. And when that becomes very hot, it's as if the water is cycling around in the house and cooling down overnight. I haven't fixed this because in the summertime when the solar panels are producing a lot of heat this is a good thing because then it, it's not uh, boiling on me but in the winter when it becomes a bit cold I don't really want this water heater to take any of that heat because that means that um, well my showers becomes very very cold very very quickly and that's very very irritating so I'm gonna be putting in a I have it down here actually a shut off bell this one I want to put that in there between that one and that one or that one or that one I haven't decided that yet but I want to put that in and I will have water everywhere I have been down in the basement and shut off the water but I'm sure there is quite a bit of water in this tank so when I disconnect this, I will have water everywhere. And that was gonna be so amusing to watch, right? Probably. So well, let's see if there's any pressure. Well, it's dying out really quickly. Water pressure is gone. Awesome. I'll close that again. And I will go and take this apart. Hmm. This is gonna be messy. I have a little bit of toilet paper that I'm gonna try and see if I can cram into that so that it's not gonna be that bad. But, well, there's no way around it. Let's just make the mess, get it fixed. I need to go get some plumbing equipment. That was really stupid not to bring that. Okay, I have some thing. I have no idea what this is called in English, but you put it on and it helps to keep everything tight and connected. Something, I have no idea what this is. And this is some tightening thing. You could use silicone stuff, but well, I found that this actually works pretty well. I've heard something about that this is horsehair. I have no idea if that's true. There. And when I put this one on, well, it will shut off because we will just turn this off like that. Oh, I'll take this out. Oh, I think we might already be out of water, so all fine. 
and I'll tighten that up really good. shorten this one, it's too long now. Yeah, way too long. I'm gonna see if I can use this one for cutting branches. It's usually pretty good at this, so I think I have a chance. Very nice. So now I just need to take off this piece and put it back on again. And maybe cut off a little bit more, I don't know. With a little persuasion, with a heat gun, I was able to heat up this entire thing and get this plastic thing off of there. It gets a really good connection there over the years, so heating it up really helps a bit. And yeah, this is cold enough now, so now I can measure out and see how long I really need it to be in there. So, and, and these copper brass stuff things, they are rather expensive, so it's a good thing to reuse those. Let's see. I think I can take off a tiny little bit. Nah. I don't know. I better not. I rather want a little bow than, than it being too small. So we're gonna put this back. So we're gonna put this back on. One in there, and I'm gonna tighten this. And I need something to counter tighten this. Um, maybe I don't. Um, maybe I just need to put it on there. But I need to make a good seal for this part, so I'll get something for that. I'll try with this silicone stuff. Put that on there. There, that's gonna be fine. And to put this in. And tighten that. Okay, I'll go down and uh, turn on the water and see how this works out. Okay, the water is on. Gonna dry off anything that is here to see if anything new is coming out. It's kind of wet everywhere from. It's not dripping or splashing out anywhere, so that's not so bad. There shouldn't really come anything because I have, haven't turned this one on yet, so maybe we should do that. There, that's on. Well, that was just one of those stupid little projects that I've been postponing for almost a year because it was going to be a hell of a mess. It wasn't that bad. It was just a little bit of water spilling out. So I should have done it a year ago. Now I can turn it off and hopefully I can still have hot showers further into the autumn this year. Because now the solar panels on the roof will only be heating up the water in the main tank and not circulating around the house for no need whatsoever. Um, and I can turn on this well when it again becomes high summer and I don't want the solar collectors on the roof to be boiling all the time. So 
Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And please give this video a like. I like that. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Thank you.